It is a sad time for us drama fans because our favorite characters have sacrificed themselves one by one in the previous episodes, making us cry with their departures. However, rest assured, because Lee Landy confirmed in a press conference that the show has a happy ending, here's what we know so far. After the Void King is gone, there will be a power struggle in the Void Realm. The first son of King Lee, Wu Dai, will try to avenge his father and take the throne. Yatan then threatened him, and he backed off as the rest of the Void Walkers yielded under Yatan's power. The Heavenly Emperor heard about this news in the Void Realm and asked Yu Qin, his son, and Yatan's husband to get rid of Yatan in the Void Realm. Yu Qin then brought his army with him to the Void Realm. They faced off, and Yu Qin called her a demoness, a nickname everybody bestowed upon her since she was a child. Yetan, who had just discovered Yu Jin's memory loss, tried to make him remember her once more. Yu Jin attacked her with a spell of the heavenly realm, but Yetan quickly dismantled it. The spell was the one he had taught her in the heavenly realm, thinking that someday it might help her if anyone ever attacked her with it. Yu Jin was confused about how she could dismantle that spell, but Yetan only said, this spell is always in my heart. I just never expected that you would be the one to use it on me. The two then fought, but in the last moment, Yujin did not take the chance to kill her as he couldn't. His hand wouldn't move even when his mind is set to kill her. Meanwhile, Yatan hallucinates about her sister in the Void Realm. Her sister is proud of her for not being consumed by hate and revenge. Missing her sister, Yatan just cries. Afterwards, Yujin seemed to remember Yetan from the star he had given her before. Yetan then went to settle an old score with none other than the Heavenly Emperor, whom we all dislike at this point. He was taken aback, as not even the Heavenly Emperor could withstand the power of the flower. Yetan had the chance to kill him, and even Husui encouraged her. But she did not. Instead, she took away his power, leaving him powerless but alive in the end. After that, Yatan and Yujin reunited. However, tragedy struck again when Guishu somehow reopened. To resolve this, everyone joined hands to close the gate, even Yujin, who stood beside Yatan and was ready to die with her. However, Yatan pushed him away and sacrificed herself. In earlier episodes, it was mentioned that nobody knows the life cycle of the flower. With a happy ending, our couples surely will reunite once again.